welcome to the highlights of match 10 of the Pakistan Junior League. It's Mardan Warriors versus Hyderabad Hunters. The toss was won by the captain of Hyderabad Hunters and Saad Beg decided to bat first. The two sides with Hyderabad Hunters making one change bringing in Aftab Ibrahim into the side and for Mardan Warriors their star spinner Archie Lenham comes back into the 11. Let's join our commentators as match 10 begins with Hyderabad Hunters coming out to bat. The captain himself taking strike. Top edge and is going to third man. Out, gone. First wicket. The captain goes. That ball traveled. That's the right shot. It's just that he's probably rolled the wrist a bit too early. That's why he's got the top edge. And a good catch down a third man. Runs here on the legs. That will always go for four no matter what level of cricket you're playing. He's jagging in, he's coming in. It's the height. Oh, he's been given. That took some time. I thought it was high. This will give us an indication of where it pitches in line. Well, let's see what the decision is. Yes, he stays with the original decision and that's out. Nabil, full of energy. Two straight to start. Put away comfortably behind square for four. A little bit of a duck hook, that one. He's got away with it. Man from that region was inside the circle, so uh, a little bit of good fortune. They could do with a bit of that, I suppose, the Hyderabad Hunters. And up against a strong uh, bowling attack as well, and that's gone through. That's an unforced error. That's a boundary. That's a good over, too. Ten runs from it. Six gone, 30 for two. Get it, get it. Slightly short, not all that short. Should be out. Should okay. have a wicket in his first over, and he does. That's their third now, the Hunters. They're in trouble here against the Warriors. And Moise Rana was given an opportunity up the order. But Archie Lenham, he's too good. Tried to hit it to that mid-wicket region. It was up in there, not much legs on it. He's picked that up superbly. That is a wonderful shot. Nicely played for six runs off the first ball of the over. Pressure back on the bowler. Arbaz Khan, whenever he's playing, he has gone out for not a couple of times, but 160 that he made, he looks serious cricketer. He can hit it out of the park, good against spin, good against fast. The contact was really good. And Archie Len Lennon, whenever he's bowling with this field, three fielders on cut, he generally brings the ball in. Get it! Nice connection. Has he gone far enough? I think he might have. Yeah, that's a beauty. Absolute beauty. Second six of the over. Excellent use of feed. Head, head position very still. Using those long levers. Get it! Another one. Picked him out. Just had to come in about half a dozen yards, I suppose, and took the catch comfortably. It was a wrong one again. He wanted to clear the long on fielder. Didn't time it as well as the previous one. That's not a bad shot, actually. It might be just outside the line. No, it's not. Up goes that dreaded digit, and they've lost another one. They're tumbling. Wickets are really tumbling now, and he's gone upstairs to have a look. And again, those revolutions on the ball. Their impact. There was no bat involved. Don't think so. Yeah. 
cut in the gap. Played it late. Big shot, big shot straight to the fielder. How often have we seen this from the Hunters? Another wicket goes and more trouble. Too many bad shots. That's what I've seen tonight. It's not the option. His side are deep in trouble. You've got to try and build a partnership. Try and give yourself a chance. That sounded really nice. You knew straight away that that will fly all the way for half a dozen. Playing the percentage, hitting with the turn. And that is what we talk about when we say manage risks. Low risk shot, wonderful execution. Yeah, ball coming into him. And he's going to time it well. Edge. Happy runs here. They need them. Good way to start and over with the boundary. Nicely played. There's two men back on the leg side. And he's pierced the ball in between the both of them perfectly. Performed so well. This one is high in the air. That should get them the runs that they need. Maximum. That's a great way to start an over. Length. Not the one you want to be bowling at this stage of the innings. That six brings up. The 50 partnership, it's been a crucial one, this one. 40 balls. Again, again a boundary. These are important runs, I tell you that. Nasir is playing a great knock. This is what the Hyderabad hunters needed. He races to 48, and the side is now adding runs to the scoreboard. Oh, he hasn't got hold of it. That's got high in the air. And oh, it's, oh, he's dropped it. I was just having that feeling. That's George Thomas. He didn't even get a finger on it. Well, either way, Nasir gets his 50. A well-deserved 50 for Nasir. And the men in the dugout love it. They know the value of these 50 runs. Inside edge. Boundary would do boundary would do so finally neither bad hunters crawled away to 128 for six in the 20 overs with Nasir getting 54 of 37 a good over from uh, Nabil the last one it was an inside edge boundary on the last ball otherwise it was a very very good over smartly bowled at the end of 20 it was a bit of a sluggish innings Thanks to Ali Nasir's 54 of 37 in the end down the order, helped them to get to 128 for 6 in their 20 overs. Once again, Mardam Warriors are a good bowling unit. And once again, we see Archie Lenham and Irfan amongst wickets, with a wicket apiece for Abidullah and Amal as well. So it's 129 to win at 6.5 runs and over. Let's join the commentators. Thomas about to face the first delivery. Oh, it's a wide and it's a big wide. It's gone past the keeper as well. And so many times when you are fresh off batting, the adrenal is high. Bowled him. One thing I guess you shouldn't do is back away and try and tell him with over the covers for four. There's a lesson. And credit to the field setting. All the fielders from on the off stump were inside the circle. He was bringing the ball in, that's where George Thomas wanted to hit him. Punched away, backward a square, that's a beautiful shot. Strong shot. You cannot play shots like that unless the track is really good. Beautifully played. Oh, he's hit that up. Just as I'm talking about his technique, he's hit it straight up in there, and he should be gone. He is gone. That's a second one for the Hunters. 
that's important. He goes very deep in the crease, wanted to get elevation. But it was, he was away from the ball. A very good catch by Zubair. Nice and fine. Didn't need that, sliding to the leg side. If they just chip away those boundaries every now and then, it's going to help their cause enormously. Oh, that's superbly played. Abbas has just whipped that away on the leg side for four. That's the last thing that Nasir wanted. Great catch. Goodness me, what a grab. It's been one of the highlights of this tournament. The wicket keeping has been quite sensational so far. So he was right in keeping Ali Nasir onto the bowling. Big wicket of the captain and excellent take by Saad Beg. Outside edge, no slip in play. If you're looking for wickets, you must invest in attacking fielders. Not this time. You know, hands on head. It's in the air. This is a chance. They can't afford to drop any. That's a good catch. Much needed. And that puts a little bit more pressure on the Warriors. And it was a good piece of bowling as well from Hasib Urayman. He just held it back a little bit. Tried to go straight, probably over long on. And in the end was a good catch. We've seen a lot of catches being put down. Oh, that's a good shot. Such a delicate shot that will just run away for a boundary. This one is a good shot. And yes, gone. Two in the over. Hasib Khan, and he said, don't bother, mate. And this is the reason why. Went across off stump. It said in the middle of middle. And really a simple decision. Now, I... Not exactly sure what they're going with here, but I think it's probably hit wicket. This is uh, the business end. Just tipping the bail in the follow through. So that's that. Another wicket's down. Slicing of that back with a square, and he's picked up a boundary. Gee, they needed that. The Warriors needed that big time. So seven off the over, 16 gone, 91 for six. Could be a tight finish. These boundaries are going to help, that's for sure. My damn Warriors, that's what they need. They need a boundary early in the over, and I consider halfway mark the early piece of the over. Looking to go over the top. Has it gone far enough? Yes, it has. That's a terrific blow. That could make a big difference. The crowds have enjoyed that. The captain, Abbas Ali, enjoyed that. James Ward. It was too full. And Hasib Khan got a good look at it, used the long levers, and went down the ground for maximum. Something tells me they'll be looking to be doing similar again. Oh, that's a clever shot. That's a very clever shot indeed. Considering the fact that he was anticipating to be straighter and at the body and looked to go leg side initially and had to alter and go offside, that's a fine stroke. He's hit that high. Could be out, should be out. Isn't out. And four runs. And you can see the frustration. Arbaz Khan, who batted well, but this time couldn't hold onto the catch. This is a big drop in the context of, context of the game. It's a big wicket of Hasib Khan and four crucial runs. Did everything right. He came under the ball. The hands were up. Fetching that. It's gone over the top. Boundary first ball, that's a beautiful shot. Improvised, but beautifully played. 
Very strange field setting. All the fielders were out on the offside. You don't have that kind of pace to set that field. No fielder at deep mid wicket. If you're going to bowl to this field, you need to be express fast. With this pace, this is not a good field setting. And hard down the ground. That's going to go the way. And that's six runs. Six runs to win the game. Good work from the Warriors. They win by four wickets in a very interesting game, this one. It was a tight one, but there's only one side that's smiling now. Well, Mardan Warriors lived up to their names as they've been performing in the tournament, even losing George Thomas for no score, their informed batter. The batters coming in in the middle order proved that they are also out there to win matches for the team and Hasib was one of them, 49 not out, making sure the side wins 133 for 6 in 19.2 overs. Hyderabad Hunters, luck just not on their side. They fought hard to defend a low total of 129 to win, but runs just weren't enough. 3 for 38 for Nasir, who batted well as well, and 2 wickets for Zubair Jr., 1 for Hasib. But Hyderabad Hunters just didn't have it in them to get their first two points. A match summary, Hyderabad Hunters winning the toss, deciding to bat first, lost their way and could only manage 128 for six in their 20 overs with Nasir top scoring with 54 not out. Mardan Warriors started off with the hiccups but they managed to steer the boat and they won this match by four wickets. Hope you've enjoyed the highlights of match 10 of the Pakistan Junior League. Until next time, it's goodbye.